What up, everybody? I'm Jeannie. Welcome back to Magenta Tarot Messages. And I know it's been a minute. Um, sorry about that, y'all. I have been really sick. Um, I'm still pretty sick, but I'm mostly getting over it. Um, I'm starting to feel better, so I'm going to be hopping right back into this, you know, put more time into it. But thank you for the ones who are bearing with me. All right. Thank you for the ones who are still booking those personal readings, still writing for the channel. Uh, much love. All right. Let's hop into the message. Happy birthday for the ones who birthday already came up. Okay. Happy birthday, Virgos. I hope y'all are out there doing self-care. Um, bring in, uh, bring in balance to your life. All right, we already starting out with the messages here. We need to talk in balance. And then we have escalated, okay? Giving money is sticking out. Friends with my demons and chakras. All right, let's see what this is. Spirit, what is your message for Virgos? I don't know if I said it, but... You already know what it is, okay? And if you don't already know what it is, leave it for the ones who do. We got successfully overcoming a problem, involvement with the law, keeping your life in balance, dissatisfaction with life, okay? Scales, keeping your life in balance and then balance right here. Dealing a relationship with a younger man or a woman, uh, and then we have coins. Money will be coming to you and happiness and well-being, son. Okay, so I feel like that's that energy. I feel like somebody may be in habits involvement in the law, which could be you or somebody else here. But there is definitely some type of dissatisfaction um, that you're trying to keep in balance. Okay, I feel like you're trying to overcome a dissatisfying problem here. And there is light at the end of the tunnel is what I'm getting. Okay, let's see what this energy is about. Spirit, what's coming towards Virgo that they should be aware of? Where should I start? Let's get this we need to talk energy. There's somebody here who wants to talk to you. I, I feel like they want to balance things. They want to they want to do something here. Okay, that's a lot. First card though is gossip. You could have a lot of people gossiping about you, talking about you and what you're doing. A lot of people in your business. Yeah. Uh, everybody knows Virgo hates that, right? Okay, we have the priest. Priest energy facilitates a spiritual commitment, serves as a channel of a spiritual energy. Serves as a channel to spiritual energy. We need to talk. The divine may need, want to talk to you here, okay? Spirit, God, universe, whoever you believe in may want to talk to you. They want to have a chat, all right? Um, balance here. The bottom of the deck, business working spirits wanting you to focus on your work so you can balance the money coming towards you um before things escalate keep your life in balance spirit what is this balance energy for virgos be a betrayal hidden enemies angry outbursts and cutting deep okay uh that explains the escalated energy here at the end spirit what is the escalated energy for virgos What is this escalated energy here for Virgos? Scissors, separation, cutting, letting go, wanting a change. Egg, fertility at the bottom. And Scorpio, destroy before rebuilding. Rose and steering wheel. Mm -hmm. Okay. We need to talk energy. We need to talk energy for Virgos. Change. Yeah, Spirit wants you to change something. Where there's change coming to you. Toll and labor. Balance and knife energy. Balance and knife energy for Virgos. share a house with somebody that betrayed you um, number two 
is a high priestess. 17. A gift, escalated scissors, and a gift. Somebody would want to try to give you a gift. I did see a proposal at the bottom of one of these decks, Virgo. Somebody may want to come in and woo you, wow you. Um, all right, let's get into the tarot. So your spirit has to tell you about this information here. About these cards here. A priest change. What is this priest wanting to say to the Virgo energy? What is this priest wanting to say to the Virgo energy? of pentacles in the reverse okay um something's not working here okay maybe feeling uninspired undeveloped the sun card the hang woman the four of wands the ace of wands and the magician Okay, with the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, I feel like Spirit is trying to warn you of something. Something being undeveloped, neglectful relationship here. The Sun card and the Hangman. I feel like Spirit is saying you may have been neglecting something. Whether that be self-care, um, work, Virgo. But there is something here that you've been neglecting. And with the Sun card and the Hangman, I feel like Spirit is trying to illuminate something that you need to release. The Four of Wands, it talks about home celebrations and structures. The Ace of Wands talks about sparks. And the Magician talks about manifestation and willpower here. I feel like they are trying to tell you that you need to release something. I feel that with the Four of Wands and the Ace of Wands, there's some type of home support here. There's some type of support that could spark you manifesting what you need. Okay, so this is the type of energy you may be feeling uninspired to do something, but as soon as you change this energy, it can bring a spark and manifest what you need. Okay, manifest what you are trying to get here, what spirit wants you to get. Ten of Cups energy. Manifest wish fulfillment and happiness. Okay, that type of energy. So what is this energy that's being neglected that you want Virgo to change? What is this energy that is being neglected? She would like Virgo to change. The Six of Wands. Public recognition. Something that you're doing in public here with the, the, the Six of Wands victory. It talks about um, fame and praise. You can be praising less, um, worshiping less, um, being outdoors less. There's something here that you are doing that you weren't doing, that you were doing and you aren't doing anymore. Six of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the Lovers in the Reverse. I feel like you were doing something, you were getting praise for working with something, but the Lovers in the Reverse, there was definitely some type of separation. Spirit, tell me about this separation. Tell me about the Lovers in the Reverse. nine of cups i feel like this was um this was a wish fulfillment i feel like this was this was a good thing okay in the eight of pentacles all right i feel like um this was a good thing here with the nine of cups the the knight of swords and the eight of pentacles it was definitely wish fulfillment it was definitely fulfilling you in some type of way with the knight of swords it could have been something that you discovered okay there could have been something that's made you think quick, quickly okay um and that's could have this could have affected your hard work in this area all right that's the type of energy something is conflicting with the balance in your life okay you need to start over get back to the basics type of energy i feel like spirit is illuminating that there is change around the corner and if you want to stay above water uh, that you need to start working as hard as you used to um let's just change around the corner for the virgos What's the change around the corner?
the Ace of Cups and the Hang Woman. Hmm. The Six of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so the Ace of Cups talks about new love, new romance. The Hang Woman talks about a sacrifice and releasing and seeing something. And the Six of Wands talks about failure. Okay. Hmm. There definitely could be some type of relationship here. Um, or something that just gave you a lot of emotional awakening a lot of emotional emotions okay you were passionate about um with the hangman you could be having to release because of failure mm, the change we need to talk spirit clarify the ace of cups here clarify the ace of cups It's going to be released. The two of wands wanted to come out. The chariot. Forward movement. Hmm. Chariot and the chariot change and forward movement. Ace of cups. Spirit. Let me date again. Uh, Ace of cups. The chariot in reverse. The justice in the reverse. Ooh, we. Okay. Um, there's definitely something here. Uh... That you could have been moving forward on. This could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Um, cancer energy. Justice in the reverse. Somebody could have done something unfair, deceptive. They could have broke some type of law here. Hmm. I feel like this is the energy. You may have been moving forward towards somebody and it may not have been going right. Okay, so if you were working with somebody, if you were doing with something with somebody else that was distracting you from work, this is about to change. I feel like spirit is getting rid of all the distractions. All right, tell me about the justice card in the reverse here, though. Baby, nobody likes justice in the reverse. Spirit, tell me about that justice card in the reverse. What's that energy about? Involvement with the law and keep your life in balance. Justice energy, six of coins, queen of cups, the knight of pentacles, the nine of swords. Hmm. There could have been somebody here, um, queen of cups energy, more cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Um, with the knight of pentacles, they could have been responsible for something that they're worried about. Six of Pentacles talks about giving and receiving and giving support. Somebody may have supported something, taken responsibility, and now they have fear and anxiety about doing so. Queen of Cups, but they love it or they love you. So it sounds like cold feet, like somebody was in, but then the responsibilities called them out type of energy. They could be worried about a Queen of Cups. We're moving on. Balance in disguise. Spirit. Who is this enemy? What's the betrayal? Who is the enemy? What's the betrayal? Devil. Who's this enemy? The tower in the reverse. Somebody's going through a tower moment. There's an enemy going through a tower moment here. Okay. Um, high priestess is in the reverse as well. I feel like they were not listening to their intuition. The hidden enemy, hidden op, Virgo. Somebody's going through a tower, okay? Something that they cannot rebuild from. The tower in the reverse is unamendable. Um, and then we have a house. They may be like losing the foundation to their home. The star card. Who's in this betrayal energy? The emperor and the six of wands in the reverse. There is some type of emperor energy, okay, who is having trouble amending things with you. Um, and this is causing failure in their life, okay? Or they're just going through towers um, that they're trying to heal and control, um, but they're failing. Six of wands in the reverse. They're failing to keep their head above water. 
um, to tell me about this emperor here for Virgos. Tell me about this emperor for Virgos. Uh, we have the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. This was somebody here you had some type of passionate encounter with. Um, with the Nine of Cups, it could have been wish fulfillment at first. Eight of Cups, but it moves right into walking away. Okay, decreased, decreased from wish fulfillment to I'm getting the fuck out of here. So I feel like this Emperor, uh, of course, it isn't amendable. Tell me about this Emperor. The high priestess in the verse. This is the person who was not listening to their intuition at all. They they were <laughs> they were doing something here. Spirit would what clarify the high priestess in the reverse. What weren't they listening to and about? What weren't they listening to? What weren't they listening to? We got the Ace of Cups, the Lovers, the Two of Cups, and the Four of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so they were in multiple relationships here. Four of Cups in the reverse. Okay, okay they could have got with somebody who was in multiple relationships, or this person was in multiple relationships, betraying you um, as one of them. But the Four of Cups in the reverse, I feel like they have been aware of something. They're coming to awareness. Higher than energy, the bottom. The Devil, the Sun card. Yeah, tell me about this Four of Cups energy. What are they having the realization of here, Spirit? Four of Cups, what are they having the realization of? That the Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Wands, that the future lies with you, Seven of Wands, and that you're blocking them. So that's the type of energy. I feel like somebody may have betrayed you with multiple relationships, dealing a relationship with a younger woman here. Um, now they're in, in, having some involvement with the law, something here that's going on, or dissatisfaction with life type of energy here ace of cups the lovers the two of cups and the four of cups virgo there was multiple relationships here um with the ace of cups this could have been a new love that they started um with the two of cups uh is also a relationship and then the four of cups in the reverse is is um the energy of being aware okay so the four of cups talks about um feeling disconnected all right and then when it's in reverse, you're brought to attention that Virgo, you're you're the future. You're the future, but they betrayed you, and you don't like them, and you're blocking starting over with them, and it's breaking their heart, and they sad. Spirit, what's going on with this tower in the reverse? What's going on with this person? What's going on with the tower in the reverse? What's going on with the tower in reverse? The devil and the hierophant. Yeah, somebody's going through a lot of toxicities, extreme, um, extremes. They could have um, done something they are addicted to. Uh, the hierophants. Okay, they could have been in a in a in a, in a, in a, in a uh, toxic relationship here, or this person could have had a relationship with something that was very toxic, Virgo, that is causing towers in the reverse. This could be anything like drug addictions, um, gambling addictions, um, sex addictions. There's something here that got them caught up. Okay, they did it in extreme and excess, and with all the lovers and the relationships out here, it is no, it is no like. Um, it's not a big jump to, 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 to think this is because of some type of sexual matter. We clarify the devil in the hierophant. What's going on for this person? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, they wanted to clarify that twice. Okay, uh, they put out the devil and they put out the toxic card. Unhealthy, delusional, nasty person. This person, Virgo, is delusional. Uh, they're nasty. Uh, they're poison. And they've been um, indulging in, in, in unhealthy behaviors. Okay? Spirit, what's going on? What's the towers in this person's life? Towers in the reverse. Uh, the, the tower card in the reverse. What's, what's happened in this person's life? Yeah, they're coming to realization, obsession and magnifying glass. They can't let go. Okay, they have a lot of anxiety about letting you go. Okay, they're coming to that sudden realization, proof of validation that they are addicted. They're they're obsessed with you and they have addictions and obsessions um, that are very uh, toxic. I just said that. And here it is illuminating again. And look at that, clubbing, having fun, partying with people. So this should be sexual addictions, drinking addictions, all that and above. Um... 
but let's see what's let's, let's see what's going on. Uh, okay, Spirit, why are you telling us about um, this energy for Virgos? Why are you telling us about this energy for Virgos? Okay, we have the Three of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. This person is heartbroken over losing the relationship with you, um, the aspects of the relationship, their contribution with you. Um, they're going through it, Virgo. They try to replace you with other people, but that's not working out. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands, the Chariot, and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, they're disappointed here. These were in reverse when I picked it up. So I feel like they have communication with moving forward with somebody. Um, Ace of Wands, it could have been passionate. Okay, this is what that betrayal energy is. Seven of Swords, I can't make it up. This is what that betrayal energy is. Okay, just as I said it, the card pops out. Um, so that's some type of energy. They, they may have betrayed you, okay? Uh, the, the Empress and the Six of Wands. They may be fucking somebody from their past here, Virgo. Uh, Six of Cups and the Empress. Or they're betraying you. Alright? And the children and the family they have with you. Type of things, yeah. Somebody's out here stepping out the house, doing whatever. Um, going through towers, Virgo, because they're in extreme doing toxic shit. Uh, they want you back. They need you back. Oh, I can't... Dun, dun, dun. To take you back, no matter what they say, no matter what they do. And boy, I love you. Yeah, I love you. I'll take you back. I'll take you back. Okay? That's the energy. No matter what you say, no matter what you do, they'll take you back. Um, and that's just that's just sad, frankly. Um, with the escalated energy, let's see what escalated. Uh, let's see what's popping. What have popped off, spirits? <laughs> what have popped his off? Right? Um, it feels good to be working again. I miss y'all. I hope y'all are still rocking with me and hope I didn't, and didn't think I like abandoned y'all or nothing. I'm just really sick and really going through it. But I'm getting better every day, praying every day, healing myself every day. So um, but just don't give up on me, you know? escalated energy and thank you for the ones you know who's been sending me messages and still doing what they do i love y'all escalated energy what's going on here for the virgos temperance okay yeah there is definitely some type of patience there is definitely some type of angel here with the temperance card i feel like spirits like whoa nelly it's like slow the fuck down i feel like there is something here that yeah there'll be a lot fortune in the reverse okay spirits trying to slow down some type of bad karma some type of um uh, uh bad change of events here virgo uh with the wheel of fortune in the reverse it talks about Things not going um, how you plan. It also talks about bad karma. It also talks about faded events, bad faded events, tempering faded events here. The temperance card, uh, the temperance card, the wheel of fortune, the strength card, and the empress. The temperance card, the wheel of fortune, the strength card, and the empress. There's definitely something here that is being temperance, is being balanced. Um, with the wheel of fortune, there was some type of bad fate, bad karma, um, bad event. Something here just did not go well here. And paired with the strength card, it definitely was a strong bad event here. And the empress it could have involved Leo, in, uh, excuse me, Libra energy, Libra Taurus energy, or somebody here uh, who is in this empress energy. This could be you, Virgo. There definitely could have been something that escalated. Okay. That could be strongly affecting someone here. Spirit, clarify the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. What is the series of bad events? That's what I heard. Um, the series of unfortunate events. Series of unfortunate events. The Sun card, Clarity. I'm getting clarity of something. I feel like your clarity may have been blocked here. The Sun card in the Emperor. The Moon card. Okay, so with the Emperor and the Empress exposing themselves right off the bat, um, there could have definitely been some type of couple here. Um, you, this could be a coupling energy. Um, this could be you and someone else here. Mother and father energy here. But there is some type of... 
there is something here, a, a bad event that you got clarity on. With the moon card here, I feel like it is still uncertainty. I feel like there's a there's a level of unknown that needs to be illuminated here. Spirit, clarify the moon. What is going to be illuminated to Virgo? The sun and the moon here. Uh, six of, of wands. That something will be successful. What will be successful, Spirit? What will be successful? Eight, in, eight of wands, moving forward, forward movement. Okay, so that's the type of energy, Virgo. I feel like there may have been a, 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 a series of a misfortunate events here that is strongly fucked with your energy. Um, but with the strength card and the empress, I see that this misfortune is uh, no match for your strength and your fortitude here. Okay, but it could have been influencing you. All right, and now there is clarity. Okay, somebody got clarity of this. You may have told other people what happened here, um, including an emperor energy. This person here, um, you did this betrayal towards you. You could have been telling people, father, father, or something or just a structure this could be a doctor um somebody who's in charge but there is something here you may have been going towards and get clarity and virgo with the, the 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 six of wands and the eight of wands i feel like that's the green light give me the green light okay we are gonna go all night mm. i'm ready to go right now i'm ready to go right now Okay, I feel like that's why temperance is here. I feel like somebody got clarity of something uh, about you and they're ready to go right now. Um, this has escalated things from separating to, 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 to giving. You feel me? It's spirit clarify. Clarify the empress here at the bottom. Clarify the empress. The Queen of Pentacles. This is definitely you, Virgo, in this Empress energy. The Six of Cups. Okay, you could be nostalgic, okay, about your childhood. This could have been like a childhood trauma type of thing. Um, this could be memories. Memories don't fail like people do. Because we're good at that. It's the energy that we had. All right, Two of Cups. Um, Virgo, it's a type of energy with the Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the King of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. Things could be uh, escalating between people that you have separated from in the past, okay? There could be people who are getting um, clarity about you, um, past energy that are, that, are, that are associate with you, that, that, that is escalating. I feel like you may be giving off some type of pheromone, Two of Cups. I don't know why the Two of Cups and the Knight of Wands was giving me, and the Queen of Wands, definitely some type of feral energy like uh feminine not feminine oh, what's the energy what are they trying to say pheromone it's almost like you didn't let off a pheromone with the sun card and there's people around you that want to build bridges and get over it there's people who want to balance things balance the dissatisfaction there's people who want to elevate and escalate things here for you virgo even though you are going through misfortunes here i feel like there's people around you that see you as fortunate the ones that have separated from you i feel um are going through way worse um are, are <laughs> it's, it's that type of energy i feel like you are attracting people that you have separated from these people want to come back and give you gifts um spirit clarify this gift energy you yeah they're watching you pinches of swords there's a lot of people watching you gossiping having your name in your in their mouth here virgo all i want is you the star card yeah now all i want is you now sugar now that you're gone oh my god gone gone i want you back i can't make this up the music just fits i'm sorry I, i'm sorry for the ones who hate my singing but it interrupts my flow and it gives me a little more details about how these people are feeling they're watching you 
okay? Glowing and shining and healing and doing your damn thing. With the Two of Cups and the Temperance and the Seven of Swords, I feel like Virgo Spirit is trying to temperance you and to get in relationships, slow you down into getting relationship with these people who have betrayed you. Even if they are looking at you and now that you're gone, 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 oh, they want you back. Even if they want you back. Even, <laughs> even if they want you back here, look, the hang moment. Even if they want you back, you already released them for a reason. It's not that type of energy here, Virgo. Um, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. I was going to clarify the Page of Swords. And what are they watching here? They're watching your legacy. They're watching your contribution. They're watching your moves. Um, they're watching your family. Um, with the Nine of Coins in the reverse, they could be watching you being celibate, um, not going towards any relationship. And this is making them want to get you back even more. And that weird? that's some weird shit but with the the nine of coins energy it's it's being by yourself and being happy by yourself and taking care of yourself i'm um, living off the fruits of your labor and um with the eight of cups after you've walked away so that's that type of energy i feel like you may have experienced towers while you walked away too you may have experienced some um misfortune and events as you've walked away but virgo you have walked away back into your 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 happiness your peace and your well-being where you're balanced okay and that's that type of energy and these people are looking around you wanting to escalate things to with you to give you gifts here because they see you uh, not needing them how do they give to somebody who don't need them okay clarify this gift one more time we'll get out of here the four cups wow <laughs> The Four of Cups, the Emperor, you withdraw from the Emperor. Okay, the Four of Cups, the Emperor, and the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. You have withdrawn from somebody and it's put them in this bitch energy. Okay, I didn't mean to get, I didn't mean to get like that, but I meant to get like that. Somebody is in this bitch energy. If you were showing up as the Emperor and your feelings are the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, this is definitely an Earth sign. Um, this Earth sign likes to come up as the Emperor, Earth sign or a Cancer. Or sign a water sign here. Could also possibly be a Gemini. Um, or Aquarius. There is somebody here who um, likes to show up as an authority figure. Like they they, they in charge. Um, but with the Queen of Pentacles right next to them in the reverse, this is somebody who is very self-centered. Okay? They're very jealous. Um, they're very smothering. They're very shallow. Um, they're not nurturing. If they have children, their children hate them. Um, this is the type of person who who everybody has separated from because they ain't shit. Um, but that, um, let me let me stop but this is this is it okay this is the type of person who wants to give you a gift here i have the chariot in the reverse but you're not letting them move forward Virgo. you're not letting them come towards you they also want to stay in a negative cycle even though you've walked away with them walked away from them nine of swords they have a lot of fear and anxiety okay five of swords and the page of cups they have a lot of fear and anxiety um about the conflict that that keeps them from apologizing their, or that keeps you from taking their offer um but yeah i feel like this person as soon as you get near them or they get near you they're gonna want to escalate something here we're going hey, uh slow your slow your horses whoa nelly like um somebody needs to go and get some professional help go to therapy um see what's wrong with them um because they are obsessed here Virgo. And we go get into the closing messages. Closing messages. For the Virgos. Spirit. Closing messages. There's that double again. Closing messages. For the Virgos. We doing it. We doing it. We doing it again. We doing it again. Spirit, what's your closing message for Virgo? Um. I don't know why I was just like brought to the full moon. Something could have happened this last full moon. We doing it, we doing it, we doing it again. Knight of Cups and the Five of Swords. Fight off these suitors, Virgo, and stay single. There it is. 
five of cups and you'll be disappointed. It ain't no clearer message than that. Fight off these motherfuckers. There's people who want to come in and negotiate with you and give you their cup. Okay? And with the five of swords and the uh, five of the swords sitting here like this in between the hermit, it's talking about fighting off those people and withdrawing and staying single in this introspection mode. I feel like you need to heal. You need to bring balance. You need to focus on your well-being. You need to focus on the money coming towards you and balancing your work life because there's a lot of dissatisfaction around you. A lot of disappointing things happening to a lot of people around you and they want to suck you in that vertex and spirit wants you to be separated from you so they can rise you up and give you what you're supposed to be giving and continue to have that continue to have that blessed energy all right you don't want to be disappointed here virgo five of pinnacles you don't want to be left out in the cold um after somebody walks away from a relationship and withdraw in the future that's what's going to happen in the future again future plans that you will be moving away from these people so anybody from your past that you get back with virgo in the future you will be moving away from um so that is why spirit is trying to temper you um get you to focus on yourself getting you to change because there's multiple energies that's just not going to be working out um there's just not going to be relationshipable uh, virgo so spirit is needing you to talk and needing you to facilitate that energy with the divine again get back into your spirituality and tap back out of the world get back into this hermit mode and you know do what it do that's what i got here for the virgos I hope it resonated, vote. Peace.